Hey folks, Joseph A. Savora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week, and I have my shirt with me called Captain America, The Winter Soldier. It's a follow-up to the 2011 film Captain America, The First Avenger. It stars Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson, Sebastian Stan, Anthony Mackie, Colby Smoters, Frank Grillo, Amy Van Camp, Bailey Atworth, with Robert Refford, and Samuel Jackson. And it's directed by two brothers, Anthony Russell and Joe Russell. The movie begins two years ago after the Battle of New York with the Avengers. Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America, played by Chris Evans, has now worked with the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in Washington, D.C. by director Nick Fury. And prior to that, Rogers being sent with Agents Natasha Romanoff, also known as Black Widow, played by Scarlett Johansson, and are sent on a mission for the counterterrorism strike team that's led by Agent Romanoff. To free hostages aboard the S.H.I.E.L.D.'s vessel from George Daltrot and his mercenaries. During its mission, Rogers discovers that Romanoff has another agenda to extract data from the ship's computer for Fury. And once Roger returns to Triclone, the S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters, to confront Fury and his beef about Project's insight, which has freak hel helicarriers linked to spy satellites designed to preemptively eliminate threats. And by recovering the data from Romanoff, Fury has become suspicious about the insights and as senior S.H.I.E.L.D. officer Alexander Pierce, who's played by Robert Redford, to delay the project. That leads to a new threat against S.H.I.E.L.D. called the Winter Soldier, who prior to the HYDRA organization leads Nick Fury and Agent Romanoff betrayed and left for dead. So now, wasting against time, Captain America decided to launch an investigation into the S.H.I.E.L.D.'s origins and have him return to the very army base where he was once under their base training that was almost nearly a hundred years ago. And what he found now with Romanoff discovers the leads to a very startling development with S.H.I.E.L.D., a top secret project called Operation Insight, which is the launch of the next generation of the helicarriers. So it's up to Captain America, along with his team, including his friend Stan Wilson, played by Anthony Mackie, to stop them from becoming yet another attack. And I really admired the new Captain America sequel, which was a follow-up to you know, Captain America The First Avenger from 2011. And yeah, this was even better than I thought. Because now it has, they, they follow more to the story about how uh, Steve Rogers got back after being you know, abandoned and frozen all these years. And finally he got out of the world, only to discover his his origin, you know, Captain America, and he got to, he finally found uh, his girl, which you know, he later met you know, during his training course, and unfortunately she's now you know, dying and, and very old. It, it was great to see that scene, you know, very touching and sad. But also, it's great to see that he's teaming up once again with the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, since they brought him here, working in Washington, D.C., only to find out that there was an operation that was happening. And that's when they found they discovered the, the Winter Soldier. But it's great to see Samuel Jackson and Scarlett Johansson again, you know, playing their roles as Nick Fury and Black Widow. Because now they they really wanted to find out exactly what was happening. And yeah, and Colby Smolders, you know, the, from the TV show How I Met Your Mother, 
is back once again. You know, in the movie, so you know, she did a good job. Also, Anthony Mackie, you know, as Sam Wilson, you know, did a very good job in this film too as well. Where he was <laughs> Yeah, he, he was wearing the wings and he was flying around, you know, trying to save Captain America and all that. So, you know, it was cool. A lot of great characters too, a lot of a lot of back great backgrounds and everything that was happening. Um, also Robert Redford, you know, which you know, he's been in a lot of great films over the years and it was good to see him on screen again. Which ironically though, Robert Redford did team up with Scarlett Johansson in a movie called The Horse First Book, which came out sixteen years ago before this <laughs> Yeah, hard to believe though that 16 years ago, you know, they were both in the film together before this movie, Captain America. Um, had a lot of great visual effects. I, I like the fact that the story was sort of intertwined with them because now you get to see you know, the real story behind all of this. Anyway, I had a good time. You know, I really enjoyed this. I actually saw this movie on my birthday you know, as a celebration yeah you know, after I saw the movie The Amazing Spider-Man 2 it was great to just have this <laughs> so it's great to see two Marvel films you know, as a birthday gift you know, but it was worth it um, but out of all the Marvel films I've seen this was definitely the best one but nevertheless you know, The Avengers would always be you know, the best superhero movie I've ever seen prior to that. But it sure has been getting better a lot lately you know, when it comes to all the Marvel films. But definitely check this film out because you'll definitely have a good time. And no doubt about it, you will really enjoy you know, watching it. Even if you're not a big fan of Captain America, you'll definitely enjoy this. So anyway, I give Captain America the Winter Soldier, five stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.